Hello, I'm Jack Koenig from Graco Lubrication Equipment Division. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the pumps we use in the MBL Modular Box Lubricator. The pumps used with the MBL are collectively named GBL 7500. These pumps were designed to replace several older pumps and also designed to fit into the reservoirs made by our competitors. The pumps used in box lubricators are piston pumps, and the stroke of the piston is powered by a camshaft. Each pump sits on top of a single lobe cam, so every rotation of the camshaft results in one stroke of the piston. In years past, actually all the way back to 1976, the MBL was sometimes known as the Model 76, or simply M76, because that was the name of the original pump used in it. Then in 1988, the Model 88 pump was offered, and for many years these two pump models were both available with an MBL assembly. They were sold under the brand Manzel by Lubriquip until Lubriquip was acquired by Graco. Graco continued to sell these pumps until 2012. At that time, we discontinued them because the GBL 7500 was designed to supersede them both. If you try to order one of the older pumps, we will ship you a GBL 7500 pump. There are three types of pumps because they are fed oil in three different ways. Understanding these differences will be helpful when you need to identify them in the field. First, the suction-fed pumps have a suction tube on the bottom, which draws oil from the reservoir below. They also have a sight feed with a so-called candy cane tube inside, which allows you to see the drops of oil as they flow through the sight glass. Some people refer to this style of pump as vacuum or siphon feed. They are not truly vacuum pumps, though, so we use the term suction feed instead. Next, the gravity-fed pumps have a sight glass but no suction tube below. This is because oil is fed from above, usually from an external reservoir. Because the sight glass can only handle positive pressure of 10 psi, they are not meant for use with a pressurized header line. The sight glass does not have the candy cane inside. Instead, it has a nipple attached to the top of the sight glass, which allows you to see the drops of oil as they flow into the sight glass from above. Finally, the pressure-fed pumps do not have a sight glass at all. Oil is fed from above through the port in the middle where the sight glass would usually be, but because there is no sight glass, the inlet pressure can be higher than the gravity-fed pumps. Pressure-fed pumps have a maximum inlet pressure of 100 psi. These pumps are sometimes called blind feed because there is no sight glass to allow you to see the drops of oil. Each of these pumps is offered with three different piston sizes. Normally, the piston size is etched somewhere on the pump or on a tag. The GBL 7500 pumps have a blue tag on top which states what size the piston is. The GBL 7500 pumps are sold separately. There are three piston sizes and three feed types available, which means there are nine part numbers. Suction-fed pumps can also be ordered as part of an MBL assembly, and how to order an MBL assembly is the subject of another video. Note that inlet pressure is determined by the feed type, and the outlet pressure is determined by the piston size. Pumps are a wear part, and even though they normally last a long time, many compressor manufacturers replace them annually as part of their maintenance schedule. I mentioned earlier that the GBL 7500 replaces older designs, such as the Model 76 and Model 88 pumps. But they also replace competitors' pumps, such as the Model 55 pumps. Many manufacturers offer a Model 55 compatible pump, and the GBL 7500 is a replacement for all of these pumps. So even if the lubricator is not an MBL, you can still use our pump in many of them. If you run into a situation where the suction tube needs to be shorter than the standard length, See Manual 3A2257 for instructions on shortening our suction tube. It's a snap. You'll get my joke after you read the instructions. The tenth pump is the shaft rotation alarm, or simply alarm pump. This is a suction pump with a monitor block on top, which maintains 100 psi inside as long as it is pumping oil. If oil flow stops, the pressure falls, and you can detect that with a pressure sensor. This indicates that either the oil level is low, or the camshaft has stopped rotating unexpectedly. This monitor does not include any electronics because different applications have different electrical requirements. So you will need to source a third-party sensor appropriate for the application and install it on the pump. This would really fall under the category of accessories, but I'm mentioning it here because it's also part of the GBL 7500 pump family. How do you know when your pump is wearing out and it needs to be replaced? 
This is where it's helpful to have a sight glass. By watching the behavior of the oil in the sight glass, you can troubleshoot some of the common signs of wear or damage. The oil level and drip rate should remain fairly constant as long as the camshaft is turning inside the lubricator. If a pump displays any of the signs listed here, it may need to be replaced. This has been a very brief overview with the intention of making you more familiar with the Graco Manzel GBL 7500 pumps. Please refer to Manual 3A2257 or the ILE Buyer's Guide for more information. Or call Graco at 800-533-9655 if you have more questions.